a couple of minutes. I won't be in here very long. Just want to uh, address, obviously, the comments that were made last night by uh, one of our players and our coach, and uh, I think they're going to gain traction unless we uh, address them head on. Uh, I think the raw emotion after a game like that was was evident uh, from everyone involved. From a manage, managerial perspective, it's uh, it's. It's understandable. Uh, we've we've made some uh, radical changes to this group over the last couple of weeks. Uh, emotions are raw right now, and really, for what we need to do is is come to grips with where we're at as an organization, come to grips with what we have in our on our team right now, and start to build. I, I've talked to the players uh, and talked about our last decade, and it was a, a good decade. Uh, some ups and downs, uh, but that decade is now behind us. And today is the first day of the next decade. And I was honest with them that likely maybe one or two of the 40 people that were in the room or 35 people won't be anywhere near us when, when that decade ends. Uh, but it has to start today. And um, to, to do it, uh, the reality is it's, if you break it down into management, coaches, and players, we're all at 33.3% responsible. So I have my job to do, the coaches have their job to do, and the players have their job to do. And doing it not in unison collectively, we'll, we'll, we'll never get there. We won't get there at all. Uh, I look back to when I got here and the, the work that Larry Plow did to put me in a good spot to have success the work that Andy Murray did and Ken Hitchcock did to put uh, Craig Bruby to have success. The work that Keith the Chuck and Barrett Jackman and Brendan Morrow and Jamie Lagerbrunner and Jason Arnott did to uh, Brewer did to to put these guys in success uh, is is something that this group now has to do for the next generation. And the next generation, there's a lot of guys. In the next generation are in there now, and um, we can allow this to snowball and we can allow this to be the 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 talking point of how we're going to finish the next uh, uh, the rest of this season, or we can address it, understand the, the raw emotion of it. But at some point, you have to move on. And today is the day we have to move on. Uh, what, I, what I hope from the players, what I hope from myself every day, what I hope from the coaches is that when you go home at night, you look in the mirror and say, did you do, did you do your absolute best in your job today? And if you if you do that, you go to bed and you sleep well. If we do what we did last night, myself included, Craig included, you know, not many guys are sleeping well last night if, that, if that's the best that we have. So um, I, I just wanted to sort of address this head on. We owe more to our fans. We owe more to our ownership group. We owe more to each other. We owe more to ourselves than, than what <clears throat> has transpired, uh, quite honestly, this whole season. Uh, as I said, the, one of the positives of yesterday is that the, there is raw emotion, that if they didn't care, if they didn't have pride, they would just accept that and move on. I've seen that from different – over the years, you see, you see teams that just are resigned to the fact that they're no good and they're never going to be any good. That's not this organization. That's not this fan base. That's not uh, the makeup of, of our ownership group to allow that to happen. Um, so today is the first day of, of that next of that next wave, and if we, the sooner that we get to work, the sooner it's gonna we're gonna get out of it. And uh, if we let it linger, if we divide ourselves, if we divide uh, those 33 percentiles from management coaches and players, and we're not in it together, then it's gonna take a long time. And uh, so that's really what I wanted to say today. That it's uh, we're not naive to the fact of, of what was said yesterday. Uh, a lot of that stuff you wish is behind closed doors, but you wake up and you're, you're glad that guys are, are, are expressing how they feel. But to express how you feel and don't look in the mirror and say you're part of it is probably not the smartest thing to do for any of us. And that starts with me, and that, that's what everyone needs to do. Uh, so that's sort of the genesis of what I want to talk. I'm not going to – this isn't a post-trade deadline conversation or post-season conversation. This is about – Addressing things that were said last night that 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 I respect, but we need to move on from. Doug, you said the other day after the O'Reilly press conference that uh, you started down a road of I don't want to see him quit, and you kind of said, "Well, I don't mean to quit." It kind of looks like that the past few games. Do you sense that at all that the team is? 
Well, as a, you know, I, I felt that the games on Saturday, Sunday were going to be difficult because they came in such succession, travel, and emotional letdown because players that they had success with or they enjoyed being around were gone. Uh, <clears throat> I, I thought the Carolina game was quite honestly, we're not as good as they are right now. Uh, last night was disappointing. Last night is a team that, that is going through sim similar things that we are going through. And if you, you know, just in, in one game, if you put 18 skaters and you put a line across and say, did you outperform the guy across from you? I'm not sure that we're going to win a lot of those checkmark battles of we outperform the guy but, but the, on the other side. And until we do that, we're not going to find out how long this is going to take. Why, uh, just based on the play, why do you think the response on the ice was so much different after the Tarasenko trade as opposed to the O'Reilly? Uh, different levels of competition. <laughs> More who you were playing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, Colorado and Carolina aren't, uh, aren't some of the other teams. So, But I, I think teams can overcome one emotional thing. Once you start, once you start, chipping away and, and taking away pieces, uh, it gets it gets to be a daunting task. And I'm not naive that this is a daunting task. But at the end of the day, as I as I said, what 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 Jackman did and what what Keith did and what other guys have done over time is they've taken pride in wanting to to make the next generation better. And there's a lot of guys in there and I have a lot of faith in the guys in there to do that. And I, I just hope they can get get it moving quite as quick. It, it's the games aren't going to be. We're not just looking at the results we did for the last ten years. Is if you won the game, you won the night. Now we're we're gonna we're gonna play some really good games down the stretch that we might not have enough to to get over the hump. But it's that ability to go home and look yourself in the mirror and, and sleep sleep soundly that you've done everything you can do. And I know that's what the guys are going to do. Uh, is, is part of it. Uh, a lot of, probably most of the players have never had to deal with this are very rarely. Is that maybe why they're just having trouble kind of I, grasping it and coming yeah, to grips with it? Yeah, I, I, Jimmy, I, I hope that's the case. And as I said, this is this is uncharted water for a lot of these guys. And this is, we want to get out of this DCs as quick as possible and back into ones where we're comfortable be, being in. And, and those are those are winning, winning ways. Uh, and and I know I know that the I know that there's enough guys in there like a you know the ship is taking on water right now and the captain just said like women and children get off the boat like I want to see who's who's picking up the bucket and who's uh, putting on the lipstick and grabbing a soother like <laughs> uh, we we need we need guys grabbing buckets right now and and I know there's enough there I know that's what they're gonna do. Doug, you know, what do you did you agree with what Craig said last night? Uh, I, as I said, I thought it was raw emotion. Uh, I also think that the 33% of the management, the 30% of the coaching, the 30% of the players were no good yesterday. Doug, by making some of the moves, I know you're going to be able to see if this core group could take on the, the leadership and be able to kind of do what you're talking about, do it moving forward as an organization. Do you feel any different in terms of their ability? Yeah, Andy, I, th I think when we talked uh, at the start of the year when Jordan got off to a rocky start and and it was gloom and doom and then he leads our team in points, like there, there's going to be ebbs and flows in this and we're going to, I'm not going to know in the next two weeks or three weeks what the leadership group is going to look like moving forward. Uh, but if you want to be in it, you, you, now's the time Now's the time to put, put a stake in the ground and say you want to be in it. But I, I don't question the character of these guys moving forward. What I'm trying to do is tell them that the past is the past and you can't control that. Uh, nobody wants to be where we are today, but we are where we are because of collectively management, coaches and players didn't get the job done to put us in this spot. But the only way we're going to get out of it is collectively management, coaches, players pulling the rope in the same direction so we can have a fan base that's proud to come to the arena. Doug, along those lines, the leadership has come in question at times, right? 
we in the media, we have a process. We give the three names, put them on the board, and you guys come in and see the numbers. Would you have liked to have seen a veteran say, hey, I don't care what numbers are on the board, you know, I'm going to talk to me? I don't, I don't quite honestly know the process that, that, that goes in there. Uh, uh, so I, I don't really have an, an answer to that question. I, I think when you're, when you're in this for, for long enough, uh, you guys have questioned the leadership uh, for, for the last decade. And then you have some success and you stop questioning it, then you lose again and you question it again. Like that's your job is, is to second guess everything that we do. That, I, we get that. that, that's part and parcel of the job. Doug, you get that. You get that role. The, the trade deadline has affected the team more than you thought that it would, just in terms of no. what happened or what's, and maybe you, just, you gotta get through that part. And maybe well, like, yeah, it, it's as I, as I said, there's been a lot of things that have happened uh, over the last couple of weeks, but it took four months to get to the last couple of weeks. So if anyone's surprised, then they're probably not paying close attention to the standings and the way we play. All right, one last question. So. Doug, so you talk about the raw emotion, sure, but you would probably normally expect that like from a veteran guy, but when it's a young guy like that expressing himself, what do you make of that? Uh, as I said, I, I can't, I don't want to get into everything Torp said. I, I think some of the things that he said were bang on, uh, and I think some of the things that he said if he was speaking in Russian, wouldn't have come out that way. Like, I really do, I, I really do think that some of the things he said were, were. He, if he was speaking in Russian, it would have been more we than I, for sure. That's that's the guy's character. So, he, I, this isn't Torp against the team, by any stretch. He's he's a quality young man, that's frustrated, and I'm happy he's frustrated. But now it's taking that frustration and moving in a direction that's going to be positive to, to where he wants to get to and where we want to get to. All right. So you guys talk to the players. I just wanted to give you a little you, bit of time. You spoke to the players this morning before practice, right? Yeah, th this is stuff you can't just act like didn't happen. Yeah. Okay, thanks, that's fellas. Thank you. Thanks.